I'm Shay. My pronouns are she, her, or they, them. I'm excited to be joining you from San Francisco and share some geeky, fun content with you. To give a bit of background, I'm a medical professional and a big geeky nerd. So in this photo, I'm reading the Ashley Book of Knots during an ambient self-suspension performance. I've worked in the ER for many years. Right now I'm working in COVID clinical research, which has given me a whole new perspective on some of the journal articles and research that I've done for this session. I have done a lot of research for this, but I do wanna be transparent that I'm not a physicist, I'm not a neuroscientist, I'm not a psychologist. I for sure don't know everything and I'm always learning too. I learned a ton putting this session together and I always learn more every time I present it. There's lots I don't know and knowledge in general is ever evolving. I've included some of the references on the slides and I'll also put those in the comments so that hopefully you can check them out for yourself. As a point of awareness, I want to acknowledge that I'm only able to read English language articles and the majority of the studies I found describe research that was done in North America, which of course carries particular limitations, institutional biases, and so on. Every time I present a class, I have goals in mind and I wanna be transparent about those. This series is gonna cover some serious topics, but I also wanna do it in a geeky, fun way and share the things that I think are fascinating. I hope that this content can spark curiosity and hopefully introduce you to nerdy nuggets that you'll find insightful and applicable and stimulate your desire to do your own research and learn more. Uh, there's a limited amount of time uh, in these clips and there's so much that I could cover. So this is really just intended as an overview. I've picked studies and subjects that I find the most intriguing. I'd note that my goals are descriptive, not prescriptive. I'm here to tell you about the cool things and applying them is more the piece I leave to your kinky imagination. Starting with kind of an overview of science itself. This is one of my favorite quotes. Some people think it's wise to say that science doesn't have all the answers. They're wrong. Science does have all the answers. We just don't have all the science. This is extra true of kink. Um, I don't have all the answers and there hasn't been a lot of research specific to kink, although there has been a little and we'll touch on that later throughout the series. So I hope you can take from this what serves you and know that we for sure don't have all the science and none of what I'm going to talk about is a replacement for using your own judgment and doing your own research. Also, science is not a straightforward process and there are some shades of gray. Individual studies often have limited practical use, and a lot of fields are having a bit of a replication crisis. I've tried to utilize meta reviews, which include multiple studies where I can. As an example of the trouble with individual studies, each of the red dots on this chart represents an individual study finding. As you can see, everything uh, we eat both causes and prevents cancer. Uh, there was actually one thing that didn't make it onto this chart that would have only had dots in the causes cancer side. That one thing is bacon. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but unfortunately, the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition Meta, Meta Review uh, didn't find any studies you could cherry pick to argue that bacon actually prevents cancer. Science is the slow, erratic stumble towards ever less uncertainty. It's definitely a process and not uh, any particular data point. When I found conflicting studies, I tried to include those and link to my references so that you can check them out for yourself. A couple of final overview notes. In reality, T-Rex is more closely related to owls than kimono dragons. So just because something seems obvious doesn't mean it has anything to do with the truth. I'll be talking a lot about averages in this series and there's limitations to that. I like to note that on average, humans have one testicle. The mean can be a misleading description of a population and for sure doesn't predict what any specific person's outcomes will be. Um, another one of my favorite quotes is, in theory, there is no difference between theory and practice, but in practice, there is. Just something to keep in mind as we go forward. So I hope you'll stick around for some of the next clips where we're gonna talk about the intersection of kink and science. 